North Carolina congressman plans to push his anti-vaccine, COVID vaccine and mask agenda at the next Johnson County School Board meeting. Representative Madison Cawthorn is constantly making national headlines and plans to do so again in Smithfield. But it's not even his district, so why is he doing it? Tonight, we're getting the likely answer. It was this speech, sharing the stage with then President Trump and the My Pillow guy, that put North Carolina Congressman Madison Cawthorn in the national spotlight. His rallying cry came just before the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. Now he wants to join a different set of protesters some 300 miles from his own district. Clearly, this isn't about representing the 11th congressional district. This is about building Madison Cawthorn's brand into a statewide and a national brand. Build as a fight for parents' choice on masks, vaccines, and critical race theory. He plans to march to next week's Johnston County School Board meeting and push that agenda. Johnston County first voted to make masks in schools optional and then changed that decision to a requirement as the Delta variant has caused statewide infections to skyrocket. Chris Cooper teaches political science in Cawthorn's district. He's not somebody who's putting his time and his resources into policy. He has bragged about the fact that he has built um, a staff around comms, in his word, meaning communications, over policy. And we've definitely seen that. Having to pick up arms against a fellow American. Late night parodies like The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and headlines have helped him build a bucket load of cash. More than a year away from the next election, he's already raised around $2 million. Cooper believes the Johnston County appearance is much about raising more cash. What we can do with our children and what we will do with our money. For a freshman member of Congress, tucked away in the mountains of Western North Carolina to raise this much money is um, it's staggering numbers. And I think he has been able to do that because he can generate this kind of coverage from whether it's positive coverage or negative coverage. So Johnson County School says they've received no notification from Cawthorn's office about an appearance. Johnson County uh, is in Representative David Rouser's district. The Republican has also spoken in favor of vaccines, but not responded to any of my requests for a comment on this. And Re Representative Cawthorn also has not responded either. So kind of wait and see what happens. We've got a week to go. All right, thank you. Nearly 15,000.